And we're back to learning Inkscape and this time I'm going to show you how to create a smartphone icon. Let us start with the rectangle tool and I drag this rectangle. The color doesn't really matter for now, but I want to use, you know, like a greenish color. Maybe this one. You can see right now it has sharp edges. We want to make them round. And you need to have the rectangle tool active for that and you can drag this circle downwards a little bit. Let us create a second rectangle on top. And this time we drag the circle upwards to create sharp edges. So this is going to be our display. I've given it a red color for now. We'll play around with the colors later on anyway. Let us create a circle. I'll hold Ctrl and Alt and go to a 45 degree angle with the cursor. And now we need another rectangle on top. And this time we need to drag this circle a little bit downwards. And let us select it all, then object, align and distribute. Last selected in the drop down is selected and I'll align it, but only vertically. Maybe I reposition the circle a little bit with the arrow keys, but only up and down. Now let us create a big circle. Once again, I hold Ctrl and Alt and go to 45 degree angle. I'll put it in the background. And now we'll play around with the colors. Now let me use this greenish color for the display. I'll make this one white. And a circle and a small rectangle, they need to have this greenish color as well. And I'll make the big circle in the background green once more. Now I select it all, hold shift and click on a big circle to deselect that. And then I group the rest. Now I'll select it all again and I use the align menu for vertical and horizontal alignment. Now I want to drag these guides out of the rulers. Snapping is enabled and you need to have snap to pass active. If you can't see your ruler, just press Ctrl R and they will be blended in. And when you've got the snapping enabled, they will snap to these corners. And that's what we need. Now I'll use the Bezier tool. And I simply left click, follow the guides and close your path. Let me make that black with the swatches down below and I hold shift and click on the X to get rid of the stroke. Let me put it in the background and one step upwards. So it's behind the smartphone and on top of the circle. I shift click on this element and a big circle in the background, then go to path and division. And now we've created this shape. Make sure it's selected, go to object, fill and stroke. I'll use the wheel here for the fill color and I'll make it a little bit darker. Deselect it, go to File, Document, Properties, make sure you are under Guides, up here, and then delete all guides. And this is how you can create such a smartphone flat icon in Inkscape. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.